Hi, I'm Namrita from the University of Texas at Dallas. In collaboration with Dr. Philippe Zimmern from UT Southwestern, I'm presenting a work titled Molecular Analysis of Cetylpyridinium Chloride for Use in Bladder Installation Therapy for the Advanced Management of Recurrent Urinary Tract Infection. Urinary tract infections are the most common bacterial infections, with more than 50% of women experiencing at least one UTI in their lifetime. About uh, 20 to 30 percent of women with an initial UTI experience a recurrent infection within three to four months of their initial infection. Such recurrent episodes of infections drastically impact the quality of life and also creates significant clinical challenges. Um, the figure on the right shows the major causative agents um, such as the uropathogenic E. coli, Klebsiella pneumoniae and Enterococcus. Now, oral antibiotics have been the mainstay therapy for treating urinary tract infections. However, a rapidly spreading multidrug resistant species of uropathogens is becoming a serious health threat. And the increase in resistance to many of the currently available oral options together with the high recurrence rates have complicated the management of urinary tract infections. And thus, there is a need to develop new treatment strategies which would be efficient and effective in managing such infections. We believe bladder installation could be a promising treatment strategy for treating recurrent urinary tract infections in women. This process involves administering a liquid medication into the bladder. This treatment has the advantage of targeting the bladder directly, thus optimizing the efficacy of drugs used as there is a local high concentration of active drug and reducing the level of systemic side effects. There are some important factors that need to be taken into consideration when designing this treatment regime to ensure the best possible outcome, such as um, choosing an effective drug or a combination of drugs for installation, the optimal drug dosage and installation duration to prevent any undue side effects or discomfort, and finally, the frequency of such treatments needed. So far, uh, there have been very limited studies on the drugs or the combination of drugs um, that, that you know, could be effectively used for such purposes. Cetylpyridinium chloride, or CPC, is a potential antimicrobial agent for use in bladder installation. It is a cationic quaternary ammonium compound that disrupts the bacterial membranes. The antimicrobial activity of CPC against bacteria in the oral cavity was first demonstrated in 1939, and since then it has been used as an antimicrobial agent in many over-the-counter products such as mouthwashes, dentrifices, toothpastes, and nasal sprays. But could CPC be used as an antimicrobial agent in bladder installation to treat recurrent urinary tract infections? That's the question that we are trying to answer with our study. So we did some preliminary in vitro and in vivo trials with 0.05% CPC to test its efficiency as an installation drug. The graph on the left represents a bactericidal assay performed on diverse patient-derived uropathogens using 0.05% CPC. And as evident from the graph, 0.05% CPC was very effective in killing the uropathogens within one hour of treatment. Now, based on these results, bladder installation trials were performed with 0.05% CPC in patients suffering with uh, recurrent urinary tract infections. Um, and the showed that CPC may be a safe therapeutic option for such women. However, uh, mild but extended symptoms of bladder irritation were reported, and the most probable reason um, seems to be the concentration of CPC. Thus, it's important to devise an installation strategy using a CPC concentration that effectively kills the uropathogens without being cytotoxic to the host bladder epithelial cells. So our study goals are to first determine the minimum inhibitory and the minimum bactericidal concentrations for CPC against diverse uropathogenic bacteria isolated from women with recurrent UTI, and second, define the kinetics of CPC killing of diverse uropathogenic bacteria. So here's the experimental design. We're using a set of 14 phylogenetically diverse strains of uropathogens clinically isolated from, women, from urine of women with recurrent urinary tract infection. We use the broad microdilution technique to determine MIC and MBC of CPC, and the time kill kinetic assays to determine the rate at which CPC effectively kills the uropathogens. Here's a table listing the MIC and MBC values of CPC for the various uropathogenic strains belonging to the diverse species. And based on these results, we chose 0.0063% and 0.0125% as the effective bactericidal concentration against all tested strains. We performed time kill kinetic assays using these concentrations. This assay measures the change in a bacterial population 
within a specific sampling time after exposure to CPC. The results of this graph are here. So as evident from these results, uh, we observed greater than log 3 reduction in viable bacteria within 10 minutes of treatment with the minimum bactericidal concentration of CPC. And so based on our study so far, I conclude that CPC may be a promising therapeutic candidate for use in bladder installation. It is bactericidal against the tested phylogenetically diverse uropathogens. And lastly, treatment with CPC concentrations as low as 0.0063% and 0.0125% for 10 minutes resulted in greater than log 3 reduction of viable bacteria. And with that, I end my presentation. I would like to thank my PI, Dr. Nicole Janisko, for her constant support and her valuable inputs. I would like to thank Dr. Zimmern for his guidance in designing the study. And thank you for listening to my presentation. Please feel free to reach out to me with your questions and your suggestions. Thank you.